In this video, we're gonna do a dove catch, clean, and cook over an open fire. And the gun we're gonna be using in this video is my Mossberg 500 pump action 410 shotgun. The ammo we're gonna be using in this video is Shockwave 410 TSS. They're two and a half inch shells loaded with a half ounce of number nine shot TSS. And they are moving at about 1,325 feet per second. And the 18GC, I have no idea what that means. So if you know, let me know in the comments. I've never actually tried any of this tungsten steel shot shotgun shells before because they are stupid expensive. So before we go hunting with them, I'm going to do a few tests to compare them to regular Winchester lead number six shot and see how they compare against each other and see if it's actually worth buying those expensive shells or not. I've never bought any TSS shotgun shells because they're so expensive and I didn't even buy those. Those were sent to me by a friend who wanted me to do a video with them. So that's what I'm going to do. And thanks a ton to Chad Smith for sending me these. I really appreciate it, man. The first test I'm gonna do is the pattern test. I'm gonna shoot each one of these paper plates with their designated load, then we'll check out the patterns and see which one did better. The first pattern is gonna be the Winchester number six lead shot. Get it stuffed up in here. Safety off. Let's try the TSS now. Yeah, I forgot my ear pro on that last one. It was pretty loud. But anyways, time for the TSS. We'll shoot the paper plate and see what it does. Load her up. What the hell? Try that again. That was weird. Alright, that's better. TSS. That already looks better. I'm pretty surprised at the results from our pattern test. Here's the lead. Not too bad. It's about what, what I expected it to do. And it uh, looks like I pulled it a little bit low. But the TSS though. Look at that pattern. That's a lot better than the old lead shot. So score one for the TSS. The next test I'm going to do is the power comparison test. And for that I'm going to be using my hillbilly ballistic dummies. My hillbilly ballistic dummies are two two pound blocks of cheese and they have two number two pencils stuck all the way through the middle of them. So I figure the plastic could be like skin, the cheese is like muscle and tissue, and the number two pencils are bone. So I'm going to stand back and shoot each one of them with their designated load and then we'll see what happens to them. Up first is the old school number six Winchester lead shot. Stick it up in there. Up next is the TSS. Stick this in there. It did it again. It's weird. Why does it keep doing that? It only does it with the TSS shells for some reason. I don't know. That's odd. They gotta rack it harder. There we go. Well, there's cheese everywhere now, but it looks like the TSS, the pattern was so tight it just punched a hole straight through it. It broke the pencils in half and it pretty much obliterated them. There's a bunch of chunks of wood and lead and stuff in there. Or graphite, whatever it is. Anyways, the lead pretty much blew the thing in half. I think the pattern was a little bit wider and it helped kind of rip through it more. Pencils are broken half. There's another piece of a pencil. So it looks like I'm going to have to give this one to the lead because it did more damage. It actually cut it in half. Well, TSS is pretty much in half. It is now. I don't know. I still really like the pattern for the TSS, so I'm going to call it a draw on this one. Better get rid of the rest of this cheese. I'm going to use these shells since I'm out of the lead shells. So without the, these shells, this video wouldn't be possible. Thank you, Chad. Two... Three R to do it. It did it again. And again. There we go. 
This gun really does not like these shells for some reason, but they work really good. That's all the testing I'm going to do with the 410 today, so the next time you see me, we will be dove hunting, and if we get a few of them, we're going to make a fire and cook them over it. <laughs> I needed a shower today. Let me know in the comments if you'd rather have a Mossberg 500 or a Remington 870. Me personally, I'm going to go with the 500 every time. It's been about two weeks since you see me last, because last weekend it rained non-stop and I couldn't do anything outside. But anyways, we're going to go down here at the edge of the yard where I usually see the doves at and see if we can shoot a few of them with the 410 shotgun. <laughs> I might be too close. I think I just destroyed them things. Got two beautiful doves with the 410 shotgun and the TSS. Pretty good looking birds. That one looks pretty good. This one, I think I hit him dead on. <laughs> I shredded him up pretty good. But anyways, it looks like the breast is still alright. I'm going to sit out here for a little while and see if we can get a couple more of them. Good lord, I might be really too close. Smash that thing. That's number three. Well, it's getting late in the afternoon and I think uh, three is enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these things cleaned up and tomorrow we'll go down in the woods to one of my favorite spots and then we'll make a fire and cook these things over the fire. To give you one more good look at them before I start skinning them. They are very pretty little birds. Got some pretty cool colors and markings on their feathers. Very pretty birds. I don't know, I don't have any idea if these are male or female. If you know, let me know in the comments. And if you've ever ate these before, let me know. Pretty birds. Pretty shotgun. I'm going to start cleaning these things. And they're pretty easy to clean. All you really got to do is split the breast open with your fingers. And then uh, you just stick your thumb up under there, pull the breast up, pull it off, and you're done. It's the next day, I just made it to one of my favorite spots in the woods, and we're going to make a fire and do some cooking. This little spot in the woods is one of my favorite places to go and hang out. It's really peaceful down here, and when the water's running, it just sounds like a river down here, and I just love to listen to the water. Watch the fish swim around. It's not super deep right now, but there are some fish in there. Anyways, pretty cool spot. We got all my stuff down here. Everything's in that bag. We got the 410, and real great. We make a fire right there over them rocks and we're going to cook them doves. To get a fire going I usually just use some dry leaves but it's been raining a lot lately and all the leaves on the ground are pretty wet so grab some dryer sheets from the house and these actually work really well for starting fires. They catch fire very easily and they burn pretty hot. So I'm going to start with these and keep some of these in your backpack if you want to make fires and stuff. They don't weigh anything so might as well stick some in there. Stick that on the ground and then I'm going to start adding some small sticks to the fire. Pull to the pile. I haven't lit it yet, but break some of these up. Stack them all on there like a little teepee. So whenever I light that, the dryer sheets, it'll get going pretty good. 
And when it gets going pretty good, I'm going to add some bigger sticks to it. When it gets some good coals going, I'm going to put that grill grate on there and then we'll start cooking the doves. And here in a minute, I'll show you what I did to prepare the doves. They are to be pretty good. They look pretty good anyways, so imagine they'll turn out all right. I don't know. If you've watched my cooking in this uh, in the channel before, I've done some uh, pretty rough looking stuff, but not always. I'm going to keep putting some of these on there until I get a good little pile started. And we'll get it lit. I love listening to the water. It's so pretty. So peaceful down here. It's way out in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by big bluffs. Nobody around. Awesome spot. Let's give it a little lot. See if we can get this going. Those dryer sheets burn pretty good. Try to throw some a uh, couple dry leaves on there. Come on, burn, burn, baby, burn. Yeah, I think that's gonna work pretty good. Got the fire going pretty decent, and I went ahead and added a couple extra rocks on top of there to get that grate up a little bit higher, so I don't burn the crap out of them. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Uh, right, right, right there. That looks pretty good. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and get the dove out. And after that heats up for a minute, I'm gonna put them on there. Let me show you what I got going on with the doves here. And yes, there is four. I only shot three birds, but uh, one of the doves or one of the breasts I split in half and wrapped each half. So there's four now. Anyways, what I did with them is took the little breast. See, you see the come on focus camera. Here we go. See the breast in there? My hands are dirty. And I just took the breast, wrapped a piece of bacon around it, stuck a toothpick through it, and now I'm going to stick them on the grill. About like that. Grab another one. Bird breast with bacon wrapped on it. Come on, camera. There we go. Stick another one right there. Number three. And get it out of the bag. Okay. Right about there in the middle. Oh man, that's hot. Ouch. Warm. Okay, last one. It's gonna go right about there next to it. There we go. I don't know how long it's gonna take to cook, so we're just gonna have to sit here and chill out by the water and wait on them for a while. I didn't really think about it, but I think the toothpicks might catch on fire and burn. So I'm going to move that away from the flames just a tad bit. Meat on the inside is already turning brown, so it may not take very long for these to cook, actually. They smell really good. I wish you can smell them. Half of it is probably the bacon that smells good, but... Still going to be pretty good, I think. Dove poppers, or whatever you want to call them. It's about time for another flip. They look pretty good. The meat, the way it looks, reminds me of steak or something. It's got a dark color to it. When I was cleaning them, it looks, it look, reminds me a lot, of, a lot like deer meat, actually. If it tastes anything like deer meat, these are gonna be really good. Speaking of, deer season's coming up, so. If you want to see some deer hunting videos, stick with the channel. That's pretty good right there. I think that one's cooking faster than the others. Maybe in a hot spot. Set her over there. Put this one in the middle. They're cooking. Slowly but surely. I'm not 100% sure, but I think they're about done. And they look pretty good. Let me know in the comments if you would try one of those or not. 
I'm gonna let them sit for a few more minutes and we'll pull them off and give one a try. I think they're done. I'm not sure, but I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull them off. Start with this one right here. And I didn't bring a plate or anything with me, so my plate's gonna be this rock right here. A little dirt ain't never hurt nobody. They look pretty good. That one's a tad bit burnt, but oh well. Belly's growling, ain't, ain't nothing today. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna give them a few minutes to cool off. Then we'll try them. They smell really good. Check out the moss growing on this stick. It's purple or dark blue, like a navy blue color. That's really neat. Pretty cool color. If you know what kind of moss that is, let me know in the comments because I don't have a clue. Well, let's try one. <clears throat> I'm gonna go with this small one right here. Looks pretty good. All right, let's see what it tastes like. Hmm. Oh, wow. That is really, really good. That's actually way better than I thought it would be. And I was kind of right about the meat. It tastes just like deer meat or kind of like beef, which is surprising because it's a bird. That's really actually really good. I give it a solid 10 out of 10. Bacon's cooked well, it gives the meat a good flavor, and but you can still taste the dove, and it's pretty good. Right off the poop quick. Fish are trying to eat it. Oh yeah. Very good. There's the other three. They look pretty good. I'm going to take a bite out of this one. Actually, I'm going to go with this one. Take a bite out of it, and then we'll show you what it looks like on the inside. There what it looks like on the inside. Meat's cooked almost to perfection. Well, actually, uh, I don't think I've ever cooked dove before, so I don't really know, but pretty perfect to me, in my opinion. Let me know in the comments if you try it. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, you're awesome. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. And if you enjoyed the video, let me know by hitting the like button, subscribe to the channel, and check out some more of my videos. So until then, I'll see you in the next video.